just about the school year, so we are starting some uh, community outreach. We're going to be here at Rangeview High School uh, tonight. I know we've spoken about this on the blog before when we were out in the field with a lot of the kids. Big thing um, is safe supplementation at a high school level. And not only talking to kids, but the biggest thing is talking to parents and making sure they are educated on what kids should be taking and not taking. From, from back in my day, kids were obviously taking supplements. We've had kids walk into our store talking and asking questions about pro-hormones, um, you know, steroid use, and things like that. That's actually occurring at a high school level now, which is absolutely not needed. The benefit of that, especially before a game, is that blending creatine really helps that water actually get into the muscle of that student athlete, which definitely will enhance performance. The only thing is coaches and you know parents have to make sure they have plenty of water going through them. As a company, especially, you know, making a difference, having, and I call this a community outreach, having a platform with Fit Republic, right, and us using this um, as a tool, we really want to reach back into this community and make sure that we're teaching kids how to properly do this, right? So it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have, it doesn't matter how many sales we're, we're, we're tracking down. If we're not teaching kids or doing something with the community to help someone achieve this safer, right? Um, giving back in some, in some manner. By getting back out in the community, teaching kids, teaching adults how to properly supplement themselves safely is just another way we really try to be different than any other company. Get back out here and do some mentorship and, and do it all for free. So I think it's real important to have owners meeting at least once a month to kind of keep everybody on track, one. Um, two, a lot of questions come up throughout the month that um, they can bring to the owners meeting and, and get some guidance on. And like if I want to, you guys are some of you guys are trying to do stuff like that, right? And if weight loss is, is, is the key, people you work with. Yeah, and every single one of those are like, well, is this guy really going to understand because he's going to, because now you're all of putting up barriers that he's a guy. He's looking to gain weight. He's looking to get bigger. Is he even going to know what I'm looking for? Actually, the most challenging thing, psychologically, important to collaborate in one room and and get together and build those bonds between owners and come together as a one unit to come up with the marketing ideas or uh, structural ideas in the store or about losing weight. And then at the end, after I broke down the walls and actually we actually became friends, then I can actually have a one-on-one -on -one personal conversation after I was professional and gave what you wanted. It's also good to get everybody together so we can go over what's next for the company and get people excited. So whatever we're, whatever our next endeavor is, um, <clears throat> we can brief the owners on that, allow them to get excited for it, keep them motivated, but just keep them involved with, with everything that we're doing. Um, and then from a marketing standpoint, it's great um, because you'll have new stores open up and they might be doing something really well that works for them. So for other stores to come in and bring their ideas and, and say what's working, what's not working for them, um, helps the other stores, especially the newer ones. Helps to uh, also helps to build that sense of family. Too. Absolutely. You know, bringing everybody together once a month and shaking hands and getting to see who, you know, Fit Republic Longmont and Fit Republic Color Springs, who the owners are, they come together, get to know each other, build that bond. That way it makes it a lot easier for, you know, if an owner needs help on something, they can reach out to another owner. Um, and get some advice on it and um, just kind of feel a little closer, close-knit group between the Fit Republic family. And bagels. Bagels. Nobody said yes to that email for a meeting until we, we said we're bringing bagels. <laughs> oh. Here we are at <laughs> Longmont Fit Republic and uh, Face Pulls the owner of this one. He's done a soft opening and been, everything's been doing great for him. Today we did a ribbon cutting um, for Face and he has his grand opening tomorrow, so we're all really excited for him. Two, three. Okay, now we're gonna do the infamous cut. I sure do. On behalf of the uh, the, the chamber, uh, board of directors, and uh, members, we welcome you to Longmont, and we wish you all the best success in your business endeavors. Welcome to Longmont. Thank you very Thank much you. for joining. Thank you. Thank you. And it's always nice just to do a ribbon cutting for a business to say, "Hey, here we are. We're open. Let's celebrate this." 
and be a part of, and face as a part of the chamber here in, in Longmont. And I think that's valuable to open up doors. Um, parents, that's one of very many examples we could go through as far as how we reach the public. Uh, another one we do is the free meal plans and free exercise plans. Um, but our biggest thing is providing that service, trying to give the community something, trying to set them up for success with healthy fitness and then how to properly supplement. But um, the ribbon cutting uh, went really well, had a lot of fun, a lot of food, met a lot of people, and we're excited for tomorrow for that grand opening. Can't wait, it's going to be a blast. But man, I, I see you getting 300 pieces. Ooh, it's on. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's on. Tell me about my macros. <laughs> I might be in the mood for you today, Reese. <laughs> oh, it's smoking, dude. No, it, it, it's it, fucking it, smoking. It will, it will work. It's getting hot. Is it? Yeah. Light your fucking fingers on fire.